we're talking about frustration now. In your life, there is frustration now. Because everything you throw at the enemy is one to work in. It's only a lot of step and no law. You know that? Come on, somebody. Yes, come on. Everything you throw, it becomes no more. The vice captain decides to give the captain an advice. Take the ball and give it to somebody else. Because you're only bowling no more. Maybe the empire to them ain't like you. Maybe current shot in some way. So the two empire seen some kind of thing that it can't be so. So they decide to leave. The next man to go. And the man start to go. And everybody go. I tell you the man, everything he tried. And he appealed to the empire. It is still no. Out! The eleven of them jump up. The empire stands still. No. Give me something soft now. What you will do? No more. Now you tell me. Everything you try. No more. You can't sleep at night. You say a prayer to God. Nothing happened. I said that. No more. The words that you're saying upstairs is no more. They call it prayer amiss. They call it prayer in vain. It is vain to rise up early and to set up late and to still eat the bread of sorrow. These people draw it down to me with their mouth. They honor me with their lips, but they have no more. There is a way to see it right, but to the end there is death. No more. There is a form of godliness, but these people deny the power of God and from such turn away and giving heed to seducing spirit and doctrines of devil. No more. No more. No more. No more. Jesus said, I want to deal with you, but I want your heart. If I only have your heart, you will serve me in spirit and soul. The missing area in you is just to give him your heart. A pure heart. A contrite spirit. God said, I ain't going to despise that. All your God and and whatsoever you're killing and giving it a sacrifice, God said, Is your heart a one? All these are mine. No more. The whole Savannah, full with people, but the border, only born in a center. No more. Come on, come on, preach it. The keeper. Yes, cut the man behind the stumps. Yes. Die and take a beautiful death. Appeal to the empire. No. Oh. And your life is in a place of no power. Are you serving God in spirit and serving him to the world? The word of God said to me and said to you, we have to put down things by the renewing of our mind that we will prove that good and perfect and acceptable will of God. We have to renew the mind. We have to start to renew the mind and then you can go and get him out. Amen. By the renewing of your mind. Not by baptizing and coming to church. It's by the renewing of your mind. Amen. Yes, sir.
Some people here today, I don't know. Maybe they must be moved here and put you in some seat that your place is in a big smooth. But I want to tell you something. It's not where you're sitting down, but it's what you're hearing. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible so plain to me that a man says, I, I want to be, it's best I be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than I dwell among you. In the face of evil people, faith comes by hearing. You all you have to do is listen. After an hour or two or three hours, you're back in your home looking for your blessing from God and not from the chair that you're on. Wake up and should I lose? For a day of rain is coming. Somebody say rain is coming. I will get wet. I will get wet. When you put me to sit down alone and rest, I want to know if you are listening to the Savior, the King, the Prince of Peace. The everlasting Father, the most wonderful constant is not where I sit, it is who's sitting with me. Yeah. Any place you is where two and three are gathered, where Jesus say I come in there, and when I come there, I come to feed my people. Check your Bible out. And you will see that Jesus went to the back too. He went to the front, he went on the side. I, I don't understand. Amen. It's not where you're sitting. It's who's speaking to you Amen. and who you're listening to. Amen. Somebody say, I'm listening to the true spirit. Amen. The one that seeketh in this hour. They that serving him must serve him in spirit, in spirit and in truth. And you understand what we're talking about? See, when I come to church, I don't visit, I will stand up until all you fool on about. And I want to find myself in a place where Jesus is not watching where you're sitting or your clothes you're wearing or who looking better than who. Jesus said, I'm looking at the heart of that man. I'm looking at the heart of that man. Yeah. 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 I went to church and I had a problem. I went to church, Bishop didn't touch me yet. But you know today I'm wet. Well. Yeah. Because the wood does cut sin asunder. As a man thinking in his heart, so is he. If I believe that God's word is who made me, then God's word could set me free. Amen. You understand that, church? So if you want him out, you must believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth. And Jesus is worthy and just to forgive. Are you there? Where you're sitting is what causing you not to hear. Because you're sitting in a best place. Only waiting to tongue he or tongue she. And he likes she more than me. And she likes the thank God is she who likes she. But God loves you. Are well, you understand? Yeah. She likes she. She can do something for she. But the one who can do for me is above he and above she and above them. Are you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So sit down anywhere. Let them run up in front. And let them know what you know. Tell them I know that this race is not for nobody who run it fast. Amen. It's not for your strong man, but this race is for endurance. Let them put, or you just call him. Father, I want to get a word. <laughs> what do you say? What kind of thing is in them high people now? In them high post now, in high position now? This man is a three letter something or something. VIP. VIP. Yeah, no VIP upstairs. VIP upstairs. VIP is for downstairs. Holy Ghost is for upstairs. Yeah. Righteousness is for upstairs. Yeah. The word of God and the fruit of the Spirit is not VIP. The fruit of the Spirit is peace and love and joy and meekness and temperance. Are you understand that? But as long as your heart is in this place, that's where the peace is for upstairs. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Hey! 
So you will never get him out unless you go to God and appeal to God. Can you hear what the word says? When I appeal downstairs and I ain't get it and I go to the children and I didn't get it, somebody say I'm leaving ground and I'm going upstairs from when it's coming to my head, my head from the My head coming from who? Which made the heaven and the earth and all the empires. Yeah. And he is the only true empire in God. So let your heart not be troubled. When I used to go to church, I didn't care about sitting down. I always on fire. I love fire. I don't sit down. I always ready to move because you see the, the thing about God and if the thing about God, God sent his son not to sit down. If Jesus had been sitting down, I would have been sick still. But I understand that Jesus said foxes have holes and birds have nests. But the Son of God couldn't sit down. The Son of God had no place to rest. He said, come on to it. Call him morning, call him noon, call him night. He's always, he never sleeps, he never slumber. The Lord that keeping him will always hear your prayer. Are you understanding? And it's the only way you could get them out. I must get them out. Because I know they come in. And they come into battle for long. Most of them want to make sense. But I'm telling you, I'm coming down and I'm falling. But every time I'm falling, they want to know why I'm looking up. Why I'm looking up? Because if I look at the man, I wouldn't get him all. The word of God said, I must look from when coming to my head. So I'm coming with the ball. I'm coming with the ball. But I'm looking up and I know as long as he's looking at me, he gonna get out. Yeah. Yeah. Because I look it somewhere else. Hallelujah. He looking at a man, I looking at spirit. Amen. Grieving mothers, grieving fathers, grieving children, grieving friends, and you're trying to get it in peace. You can't get it out, oh, no matter what you do. And everything you do, you set feel all over. All on the boundary. But Jesus said in that same pavilion, David says, He hide me in this pavilion. Are you understanding? As the walls around Jerusalem, so shall the Lord be around his people. Are you understanding that church? Come on, church. What you're trying to get out in that game of cricket will never work. You will leave the match very sad unless you start appealing upstairs. I understand what I'm talking about. You got to you got to appeal upstairs. The third empire can't help you. Unless you appeal upstairs. I'm going to the bishop today, I want to be well. But you're not appealing upstairs. You're still going back home and drink rum. Smoke weed. Live a life that is not pleasing unto God. You are appealing downstairs. Go, bishop. Go in my name. I give you power to cast out them, to heal all manner's diseases. And I will be with you. So if you are doing his will, your appeal will be not all. If not, you say you're feeling much better. It's because the fervent prayer will work for you, but you still will get it. Not all. After three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine years, you can't stop the child again. It becomes a part of the child. Okay. And then you come in, Bishop, the child, the child, and the phone. Eh? 
Grow up your child in the way of the Lord so that when your child grow old, it will not, or him or who will not depart. But you give your child the phone, but leave me in peace. Amen. Yes. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Look at your child. Look at your child. You give me the child and say, snack, 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 snack. And you feel that it hurts now. No matter what the answer say with your big fat self. <laughs> you know, everything I preach, it has vexed my spirit. Just as how Ezekiel's spirit was vexed and he went away in vexation. Because I'm telling some of them, don't give the child that kind of thing to eat, boy. Don't give she that. And you feel love your child, so anything she wants, give she. Give him. But you understand know, what we're talking about? I know love, boy. It's keep you killing your child. Vex me, Bishop Preach. Eh? Where you hanging that big old chain on your son neck for? Where you with that big ring on your finger for? It was long time thing. Everybody is burning for what you have. They don't want to walk for it. They're going to kill your backside for it. Amen. And if where you is, you feel you're safe. The bandit coming home in your home because they know you had it on your neck, you have it home. Yes. Well, you feel it is, are you looking nice? I go check. My picture of all them things I had. That is trap you're setting for the enemy to come to come at you. Are you understand that? Amen. I could buy big gold chain for my son and big gold ring, but I know it ain't gonna have no price to wash it off. Because he that knoweth the will and doeth it not shall be bitten by many stripes. So then take it from me on the road. You hear the whole family get mashed up. The enemy come to do what? And destroy. So you can take it on the road, but tonight somebody scratch your window, scratch your door, come for the goal that you have. Are you understand what we're talking about? Yeah. Put the goal there. And if you get broken, go and pawn it too. What are you talking about? So you have to be a gold fighter like you? If you was in my days, you suffer. <laughs> I said, if you was in my days, you suffer. Because I don't know you are an expensive woman. Amen. Yes. I'm making sure I watch you good. Yes. Because I'm looking for a virtuous woman. Yes, sir. Not a woman who put me in expense. Okay. And when I lie down to take a sleep, she only bought it. I went by. What are you doing, please? Can anyone meet? They go by Marriage and Sons. And they only back with Marriage and Sons. And put it up my head. I buy one small enough. After two, three, four, five years, I want a bigger one. <laughs> Tell me something. So I'm making sure when you come, we could deal with backless. But you have backless like <laughs> FCB, all the credit unions, and other places where we could that they change when you're so expensive. <laughs> and not too long after, she reached 40 years, I reached 40 years last in school. <laughs> and every two years she wants her glasses to see more gold. <laughs> Are you understand what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Young man, what's the woman good? From head to foot. And see if it will work in your pocket. The only way you can be dressed, you have to be like Job. All what you have, somebody 
Christian and going back to God making. Yeah. To receive a double portion of your blessing, you've got to put down and let God pick you up. Yeah. Think women these days. Cheap. Huh. Ah, this thing to live with is this woman to live. And they come here crying. Bishop be gone. What are you going to do for that? It's not he who gone. You run him. Every day you wonder. Every month you wonder. God sticks some toilet for you. That alone when I hide in a shoe, he has to fix that too. I gone. Well, this one is just me. You come into marriage, you two hands have gloves in it, but fancy they come and don't stay. Come on, come on. I gone. I say I gone. Thank God me ain't to get time. So I don't put my son sit down and say, boy. See if I go. And make sure you could see. Because you have make a new look. Take off she eye girl and put a new eye girl. Take off she eye lash and put a new eye lash. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And then after boy, you marry that Negro and she coming like an Indian. <laughs> and calling to what you love, oh my God. And then she, I come. For the time and a season for everything. You hear gonna get one. Remember that when you die it up, you're plugging up all your the board. You're gonna be dead just now. Bishop, where you take out your soul? Well you're not to see why. Bishop. Only that? No. When I bail, I don't have to buy. Yes, sir. Come on, go. I have no coal to catch again. I take out one to settle down coal here. So I move on to that. But we shall be able to bail. That's for you to know I will. That's what we're talking about. Amen. So we have exit you, right? No. Because really, really sad. There are some women who are really, really smart. So thank God for Penny White. Because they know that a lot. They lip and they bend to their lips so your heart drop. And they forehead so you have to trap this here. <laughs> So nothing wrong with that. But when you pray in a prophesy, you just cover your head. Eh? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. How do you want to speak? Amen. Yeah, Only make you be crying for man, crying for man. If you just dress up as pleasing to God and God make you feel it for you, you won't have to cry for no man. Yeah. When God made you, God made him. And when God made him, God made her. And God said to be fruitful. And go and multiply and replenish and fully own. God ain't no make things hot any hard. You know. God made him and her. And today, he has set a hope. I see he made him and her. And instead of the hope, he has set a hope. <laughs> they are preaching that in them church, they only tell you. You could hold on the place or hold on the place whatsoever and say, God forgive me, God is a forgiving God. So God isn't a jealous God too. Yes. 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 Yes.
president here, you can show you something. Doesn't you know you is the place that God does use to let them know that he's alive? Yes. Knowing not what's Corinthians 16, 3, 16 tell you, knowing not that your body is the temple of the living God. You have to keep it preserved it for to show the world that you belong to him and he could conquer the world. That is the kind of preaching we need to do. Preach where you want and talk where you want. Knowing not that your body belongs to who? And he wants to use you to make the world know that deliverance is in this world's still. Are we there, church? That's why I'm going to preach, preach, preach until you get it. Every style come out, Christian in it. And Christian best when they get in health. Jesus said, above everything I have, wealth and health. Yeah. Well, all the dog makes, because me know who bold like that, but they come to me and be. Most of them young women want it to wear head. Mohawk, Mohawk, Mohawk. Mohawk and Mohawk and Mohawk. All the world have it Mohawk. The, the Bible tells you there is yet no condemnation to them that walk not that way. And it's Mohawk. <laughs> check all the dress, check all the world style. And tell me if you could get blessings from God when you're pushing the world in front of God. And God says in Romans 8, 1 and 2, there is yet no, no condemnation to them that walk not that way. We should be shocked. Hallelujah. If you could only go home and take all the oil and them. But unclean. Blessing is dead. But instead of taking out, you uncover it to show the world. I preach in. Church, you feel it easy on it? I was in Bob Money time. Isn't Bob Malita when you want Bob Malita? And then you realize that I'm going in spray and all that matters in there. And I know good music, you know. Yeah. And sometimes you just push back the set in here. And I just get him out and I say, You saw him with me. You saw him with me. You saw him with me. Of the difference. Of the difference. All Bob Malita in there. Blood! 